All right. Uh, good to get a win. Hard to win in the NFL. Uh, you know, a good, good Chiefs team, well coached. Thought it was very competitive out there, both sides. Uh, we made some plays. They made some plays. Um, you know, I thought we fought through some adversity with some injuries, some untimely penalty penalties. Um, but the guys were resilient the whole game and and uh, came through in the end when we needed it most. So some big time, big time plays there. So uh, I'll turn it over to you. I know you can watch the tape, but how important was Von Miller in this game? Yeah, I mean you could feel him uh, whether whether or not he was uh, actually sacking Mahomes. He was he was affecting him, um, and then he did get him a couple times, I believe. Um, so just you could feel him out there the whole the entire game. So he, he was phenomenal. Looking at the changes you made through the course of the offseason, you know, acknowledging the way last season ended, uh, whether it's Vaughn, you could point to Jordan Phillips, and you could probably suggest a few others yeah. who contributed to have the defense, you know, make the plays they did at the end of that game. Does that speak to maybe the offseason moves you made, understanding it's just week six? Yeah. But do you see a measured difference in that? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you you try and identify what you need to improve your team, and and uh, and Brandon does a great job with that, and his staff the same way, and 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 then acquiring those players to help you, um, you know, that can that can factor in these games in the way that they factored, um, you know. So it was good to see, and and uh, it's not easy. I mean, coming here number one against this team, uh, we've had our battles, and uh, I was real proud of the guys and the way they the way they. Uh, Executed in the final moments of the game there. Aaron, especially, I mean, not the first time you've made plays like that. Um, just your initial reaction, and Josh jumps up and throws his hat off. He's ready to run on the field. Like, what were you kind of doing? When Taryn made the play? Yeah. Just saying glory to God, man. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, I mean, that's, that's where all, first of all, all glory belongs is to God. Um, and we've got a re, you know, resilient group of guys, resilient men and women in that locker room that have worked extremely hard on the off season, this year, this week. Uh, now we get a chance to enjoy the bye on a win, um, which I know my family will appreciate me being around uh, after a win as opposed to the other way. So That's an, ins that's an instinctive play, though, Coach, right? Because he peels off his coverage assignment. Yeah. He reads the quarterback. I mean, that's, that's something that you need in, as an instinct as a player, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, you got to trust your instincts. And we talked, we talked about it a little bit before the game. And um, these guys prepare all week. Um, they work hard, and then that's when you got to let it let it flow and, and trust your gut, trust your instincts. Sean, you've had the playoff coming down to the What did you learn about your team's depth going Yeah, just like I said earlier, I mean, you know, we've we've got depth, and now because of the those players playing a lot, especially a lot of young players early. I mean, not really, this is the first game other than the first week where we were uh, more healthy than uh, than we've been. And so, but I th it was good to, I mean, we had some guys get hurt during the game. We'll see where it goes, but um, good to have our defensive front, I think, stay healthy, um, which was good to see. What do you want, Steph? You want, it's my Coach time up. Coach Allen. My time's up. Everyone will be off, and you'll be there all week with me. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I don't, I don't have to tell you the job's not done yet, but how much easier is the buy going to be sitting atop the conference here? Yeah, we've got a long we got a long way to go, Chris. Um, um, but it is nice to get a win, um, any win going into the bye. It's hard it's hard to sit two weeks on a bye. It's hard to sit one week, uh, excuse me, on a, on a loss. It's hard to sit one week on a loss, let alone two. So, uh, like I said, my family will appreciate this this win in more ways than one, so they don't have to put up with a miserable dad at home for for two weeks. One of the things that Josh said that kind of stood out to me, you know, obviously trying to put last year where it belongs, but he said it underscored to him the importance of home playoff games. And whether you addressed it or not, did you collectively maybe have the sense that that ultimately, this today's outcome could potentially determine that? Uh, down the road. I mean, that's that's obviously down the road. Um, and, and yes, uh, but down the road. I mean, right now we just got to get some rest this week. Um, we'll get in tomorrow, watch, watch the film, wrap that up the right way, and then give the players and staff some time off and uh, much-deserved time off. We've been banged up, as was mentioned earlier, and so um, it's good to, get, good to get some time. Dawson, Dawson maybe is maybe one of those guys who's been banged up and yeah. suffered a lot this season. For him to come through there at the end, what did that mean for, your, for yourself and for your team? Yeah, um, you know, you, you watch guys go through the journey of, of life, right, uh, off the field. And he's been through it, and he's stuck with it, stuck with it, been resilient. And then he's been banged up a little bit, 
Um, and you just knew his time was coming. You just knew he was going to make a big play, and, and he did. And, and uh, my hat goes off to him. Maybe you've gotten used to it. Maybe you've gotten used to it, but when Josh hurdled, what were you thinking? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking stay in bounds, run the clock, right? <laughs> Next time, don't hurdle him. I should have should have told him as he was running by me. Um, you know, it's it's just you know the game's always going to come down to the final moments with these quarterbacks, with with Patrick and Josh, and and so um, you know you, you want to get the points there. And obviously, Josh made a great play. It was fun to watch. Both of those guys are, are, are elite elite players. Good for the NFL. Um, we're fortunate to be around Josh and, and watching him grow and develop into what he is now. And, and I'm sure I'm sure Andy in, in Kansas City feels the same way about Patrick. So thanks, guys. Thank you.